this is Monday Night Raw. This arena is so loud, I can barely hear myself think. That's good. We thought we might hear from him tonight. He's ready to lay it all out right here. Let's listen in as he addresses the WWE Universe. Not making any friends, but not really concerned about it either. This place is electric after that. That was top notch right there. There's no doubt that everyone in this capacity arena is behind that statement, partner. Despite the fact that the title is not on the line here, I still expect the champ to come out and fight his normal fight. I'm with you, Michael. He just likes to fight. It doesn't matter to him that the title is not on the line here. WWE Universe here. Comes the reckoning.
don't. You could say that the Bludgeon Brothers had their shining moment at WrestleMania when they won the SmackDown Live Tag Team titles and since then have really served as the proverbial black cloud of the Tag Team Division. WWE is about to experience a bludgeoning at the hands of Harper and Rowan. It's official. The leader of the S movement will get this tag match started. Guys, the tag team scene in WWE right now is so impressive. And these two tandems are a lot of the reason why. You know, even though the title is not on the line, this is still an important match for the champ. He can't afford to show any weakness here. Given the enormity of Kane's debut at Bad Blood 97, some felt it was just a matter of time before the Big Red Machine owned WWE gold. With the 1998 King of the Ring, Kane showed his full destructive powers when he defeated Stone Cold Steve Austin for the WWE Championship. Oh, what a clothesline! Forcefully delivered. The match between Kane and Stone Cold Steve Austin showed just what kind of horrible abuse both men were willing to endure. Their first blood match for the WWE Championship was so highly anticipated. Tickets for the show sold out months in advance. I know all about the 1998 King of the Ring because A, I was watching it on pay-per-view, and B, it's one of my favorite pay-per-views of all time. The atrocities witnessed that night between Kane and Stone Cold Steve Austin were uns- He's got him covered. Gonna take more than that. Beautiful technique. Oh, man, what a boot. Gets him in position. This is not going to end well for him, Michael. Oh, what impact. The Devil's Favorite Demon with the Devil's Favorite Sidewalk Slam. Game, set, match. This one is over. Irish Whip. This has been incredible tag team action all night tonight. This could be the end of it all, though. Oh, just inflicting so much damage to the body. Can he finish the job? The oh, oh my goodness, crushing it! Oh, and it's a reversal! He's making a statement here with this attack. Flying forearm! He might have it. So you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Harper's chances just went from bad to worse. Oh, the yes lock is cinched in. Is he gonna? Oh, what a cross face! Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. And we have our winners. 
lot of good action in that one. Here's another look. Look at him go. He ain't messing around. Man, oh man, look at that. And here's the last piece of the puzzle. We saw these teams going back to it at some point in the very near future. This is going to be fun! as responsible for the women's revolution as anybody. A woman who has paved her own path, marches to her own beat, and has used it to create a Hall of Fame-worthy career. A true trailblazer. If you name it, chances are Lita has done it in a WWE ring. feel good I like the days better now where you are not allowed to make direct eye contact with the goddess Saxton that much you look at me? Alexa Bliss the type of woman that will stab you in the back and you'll still have And there's the bell. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. Oh, man, this is going to be great. This might be it. Oh, my. The great thing about our fans is they have the right to cheer boo for whoever they want, but the amount of hatred I've heard directed at Lita can be downright vulgar. Lita has been in volatile situations where the crowd has resorted to calling her despicable names. The usually focused Lita becomes unhinged and doesn't know how to handle disrespect from the WWE Universe. KO Punch! You two bringing up what fans have called Lita only reminds me of how Lita doesn't care what some idiots in the crowd have to say about her. I don't think she deserves that sort of treatment either, Corey, but I have seen it become a distraction for Lita. Maybe that's something her opponent can take advantage of. 
Drop down. My leapfrog. Ring rattling. Yeah, she's getting after it, showing great energy. We see a here come. Oh. Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. Insult to injury. That changes the entire complexion of this match. But now can Alexa Bliss capitalize? few inches off there. Inches? She missed by at least a foot, Cole. Picking up on the playing possum strategy Corey touched on. I may agree that Lita's greatest strength can be turned against her. I would say Lita has shown a tendency to crash and burn Byron. As you already said, Michael, Lita does carry that Lucha Libre style of being a daredevil. The best counter I've seen against that style is simple. Just move out of the way. Lita's playing it up big time now. Lita's playing it up big time now. I don't think it's wise for Lita to take her mind off her opponent like this. Look out. There she goes. Alexa Bliss has never been shy about expressing herself. Inside the ring now. The first ever Women's Royal Rumble match was historic, but I don't believe it would have been possible without the contributions Lita has made to sports entertainment. The barrier she broke down in her career opened the door for the caliber of talented women in the WWE today. Things are looking bleak for Lita here. She may have just hit a wall here. I'm not used to seeing this. By the looks of things, this may very well be the beginning of the end for her. Michael, you recognize Lita opening the door for women. And many of us looking at it here. Harsh impact. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. A cover here. And you can put this singles match in the books. Here's a few clips from the last match for us. And so it goes. still but this could be a pivotal point in this match guys let's see how he reacts here oh what impact Finn Balor starting to stumble now you have to wonder if he could recover from this guys oh man his chances are dwindling quickly he's just taking on so much punishment hey he can still win this thing guys we've all seen him come back from much worse we've seen this before beautiful oh. technique Here's a chance to win this. Yeah. Finn Balor slips out of harm's way. Extraordinary elusivity. Yeah, 
Down he goes. That'll do it every time. We know what's coming here. Yeah. 16. This is all but over. Yeah. Oh, what impact. Shoved right off. Finn Balor's mm. in a room of the park. Looks to me like he just hit a wall. I don't know. I don't think he truly understood just how dangerous his opposition was heading into this match. Of course, he understood. Oh, what a slam.
Ooh, what impact. What a strike. Right on the mark. Oh, man. Jarring headbutt. He's going for the pin. He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. Yeah, good luck keeping those massive shoulders on the mat. His shoulders are down. Braun Strowman gets the shoulder up. Just powered out. Oh, what incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. Back now inside the ring. Braun Strowman fans with some reason to worry about here. He definitely has his work cut out for him here in this handicap match. Well, I don't think his performance here tonight is necessarily one I would point to if I were to wow. instruct an up-and-comer on how to win a handicap match. There are certain superstars who are synonymous with handicap matches. Of course, there's Andre the Giant and more recently, Braun Strowman. But I don't think I've ever seen anybody in more handicap matches than Big Show, guys. He goes for the cover. No trouble getting out of that one. Not yet. I could agree with you more about what you were saying earlier, Michael. It seems like Big Show has been in dozens, if not the cover. Braun Strowman kicks out easily. Remarkable. That's using your head. I always loved a good handicap match growing up, especially when you'd see Andre the Giant. He's got the shoulders down. Ref found a two count. Not yet. That's using your head. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Braun Strowman. Oh boy, he is rolling. Andre the Giant really was the king of the handicap matches. Look out. Rusev is measuring. Bad spot for him to be in here, guys. He's got to do something to get back in this thing. He breaks out. He's not done just yet, Michael. That'll slow Drew McIntyre down yeah. a bit. He needs to create some space and find a way to get back on the offensive. The important thing is that he doesn't overreact here. He's taken on a little bit of damage, but it's nothing he can't overcome. A lot can go wrong in a match like this, guys. In fact, I'll be surprised if we don't see a major injury occur here tonight. Gets the shoulder up. Wow. Oh, look at this. Boom! Gut buster. Controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. To Corey's point, handicap matches are an incredibly dangerous atmosphere, and being outmanned in any way, whether it's by one, two, or even more competitors, can result in serious injury. Or in the case of Braun Strowman, you can be outmanned and still somehow be the one delivering the injuries. I mean, he is absolutely unbelievable. When this guy's on, look at him. Yeah. Elbow drop! What a strike. Gets out of the way of that one. Hey, guys, remember when Shane McMahon competed against the supposed regional dude in a handicap match back in 1999? What a joke that was. He's looking just a nasty headbutt. Game, set, match, this one. We've got a cover. Braun Strowman kicks out easily. I don't believe it. He refuses to lose. Rusev's feeling it. Long distance drop. I remember that Shane McMahon's handicap match you were mentioning earlier. Very oh, look, Rusev Bruce with a running super kick. This one's over, guys. Braun Strowman doing a great job of turning that around. Oh, man. What a nasty STO. Uh-oh. Oh, this is going to be nasty. This is going to be bad. Watch the impact! True testament to grit. Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. Big time slam! Vicious. The accolades locked in. That should do it.
Let's get another look at some of the high points of that one. He's getting after it here. He ain't playing here. Highlight for one superstar, low light for another. Tap out victory here. Wow! We just saw a monster slayer strike right before our very eyes. What a great match we just saw here on Raw. Thank you everybody at home for choosing to spend part of your Monday night with us. It's got Dawson on the Man. defensive now. Heading into this match, he and his partner look extremely confident. As his theme implies, Mustafa Ali goes hard every time he steps in that ring. I hate to be in the other corner tonight. I hope we get to see an 0-5-4 tonight. All the budding tag oh, teams out there hoping to one day make it to the big stage better be watching this match with a notepad in hand because you can bet this is going to be a lesson in how it's done. Vicious strike. Oh, the tear the features clean off your face. Uh oh, look oh, at this. Nelson applies. Dragon suplex. Talk about a bad landing. Real nicely done. I can't believe he's in this. Still a lot more fight left. Oh, what a kick to the 
face. Oh my God. Uh oh. Oh man, what an inverted Frankensteiner. Now Apollo Crews is the legal man. Super kick! Oh, oh. Ooh, the reversal by Apollo Crews. Oh, nasty impact. Oh, look at this, locked in. Submission move here. Look at this. Cruz is letting everyone know exactly how he feels. Boom! Scott Dawson looks to be in some pretty bad trouble here. How can he get out of this mess? His hopes of winning this oh. tag team match are starting to dwindle. When you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos brothers. Stevens and Patterson, Stevens and Bockwinkle, the Texas Outlaws, the Briscoes, the Blackjacks, the Andersons, and the list goes on and on. When you're part of a tag team, the two partners have to travel together, train together, eat together, and be completely in sync with one another. He's going for the pin. He got body on body there, but that's about it. Wow. Tag team competition dates back all the way to the early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, the tag team scene has never been more competitive. I don't know who has the edge when it comes to talent, if it's Raw or SmackDown Live. I think it's too close to call, but all the teams truly think and act as one unit. I agree, Michael. Teams such as the Usos, American Alpha, Anderson and Gallows, The New Day, The Hardy Boys, Cesaro and Sheamus. I could be here all day naming championship caliber teams. And when the tag team scene is that competitive, you don't know which team will be wearing the gold. Kick to the... Too quick for him there. Harsh impact. Oh boy. The number of power oh, bomb. bomb. Not done yet. Hold not on. again. Not again. In off the tag. You gotta believe this one's over. Dash Wilder's in serious trouble. Is there anything that can be done to get back to being the threat? This tag team match is dangerously close to getting out of control for him. If I'm his partner, I'm furious right now. There's no reason why he shouldn't have made a tag by now. You can learn a lot about a guy in a match like this, and what I've learned so far here tonight is that there is absolutely no quit in him. Beautiful technique. Nobody does it quite like him. Things just went from bad to worse for Dash Wilder. Going all the way up. Going for broke. In oh my god! Imploding 450, unreal! Now that's an impressive tag team victory.
you ask Baron Corbin, he will tell you that he is the epitome of what being a WWE superstar is all about. Former Money in the Bank contract holder. Former United States Champion, winner of an Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, the Lone Wolf. So many great matches, and this one is definitely among the most anticipated, I'd say. Baron Corbin likes to be the epitome oh, of the term Lone Wolf. Yeah, Saxton, Baron Corbin does what Baron Corbin wants to do, when he wants to do it, and how he wants to do it. Tonight, he wants to beat someone up. Slammed with authority. What a stomp. Good grief. Nailed it. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Corbin looking a bit uneasy here. Don't be surprised if he shrugs it off and comes back more motivated than ever. And he's been gambling quite a bit here tonight. There's Ouch. plenty of reward that goes along with being outside the ring as much as he has been, but there's a ton of potential risk. You never want to count a competitor out, but things don't seem to be going in his favor here Ouch. tonight. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Randy Orton might be the most successful third-generation wrestler in WWE history. The Orton family has been a fixture in wrestling for over 50 years, competing in main events from the 1960s all the way to today. Yeah, Cole, it all started with Randy Orton's grandfather, Bob Orton Sr., who competed in the NWA and AWA, even took on Bruno San Martino in New York City. That one fails to connect. Great idea by him. Too bad it was awfully executed, though. You both started the Orton family tree with the discussion of Bob Orton Sr., but Randy's father, Cowboy Bob Orton, has an impressive pedigree, too, as a WWE superstar, including being in Roddy Piper's corner during major matches at the first two WrestleManias. As great as his father and grandfather were, Randy brought the Orton name to even greater heights with multiple WrestleMania main events and over a dozen WWE Championship reigns. Impact. 
Looks like Randy Orton has Jeez. broken a sweat. But he's not appearing too worse for wear. At least not yet anyway. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment tonight. You don't step in the ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed. He's doing exactly what he didn't want to do here. He's letting his opponent right back into this match. Focused attack on the back. Oh boy, he is rolling. He wants no part of the outside. What does Baron Corbin need to do now? He'll need to fight. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Oh boy, he is rolling. Well, guys, there's the oh, what a slam that hurt. Here he goes. Beautiful technique. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. Gentlemen, Baron Corbin might have this one all sewn up. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. And here comes Orton. Drop kick. Beautiful. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. What a slam! Impactful. It'll jar your spine. Now Randy Orton seems to have lost a step or two. If he's not careful, this can snowball out of control for him in a hurry. I'd never count this guy out, but I'll tell you what, he's not look. We got a cover. Kicks out in the nick of time. Way too early. Oh boy, he is rolling. And Randy Orton just slips out of harm's way. Oh, nasty impact. There's been a lot of talk about this superstar's latest spot in the power rankings, but if you ask me, those things are overblown. And what a reversal from Baron Corbin. He's one of those guys that gets going and it's hard to stop him. And Randy Orton just slips out of harm's way. What a strike. Caught him right in the jaw. Oh, what a shot. Things are looking dire for Baron Corbin. Something's got to change quick. He's absolutely running on... What a cutter! Here's his moment, Michael. What a clothesline! Ouch! There's got to be some point in the match where those thoughts start to creep in that it could be over. And then you got to dig down deep. Oh, the sledgehammer. The blatant disregard for the referee's authority gets this one thrown out. Oh! Oh, the sledgehammer connects. That'll scramble your insides. 